Okay, here's the inside. This is all <coughs> handmade, it wasn't a cabinet. You can hear the chicks going crazy in there. I'm gonna take this off the tripod now. Sorry about that. You can see there's the water pan up top with the sponge in it. <clears throat> Help keep the humidity about 55%, um, which is about 10% above what we're incubating in here. Actually, we incubated around 42%. Seems to be working out good for us. And you can see we used. Uh, well, you can't tell, but them are cedar uh, one one by twos there, and uh, we we use half inch square fence for the shelves. The only thing that I found about that is I have to do some modifications because they like to poke you right here where they stick out a little bit. So I'm gonna take a piece of sheet metal fold it over the front of that and rivet it in three different spots on each shelf so when you reach in you don't accidentally um, do that to your hand. I was in a hurry when we we had to get this thing ready and hatch this hatch. Here we go here's some blacks. Here's a tray of blacks and this is what we use just regular flats for trays. Works great and with those uh, fence shelves well it makes the air flow through there really good all around these trays and they seem to be hatching pretty good only one I'm having a problem with is uh, shelf 2 right here we got this egg here you can see is starting to Right there, you can see it just starting to do its thing. I don't know what's up with these two eggs right here. They're probably just taking their time. I don't haven't seen any holes in them yet. No piping going on yet on those that I can tell of. And then uh, here we go on this shelf here. This is from our number three rooster, and all three eggs are hatching from him. And we have one chick. So, um, I would have to say that the hatcher was a success. We didn't make a huge hatch from this first hatch, which was a good thing how it worked out like that because um, it would have been a real bummer if it didn't work out right and we had a large hatch going on. They say we had actually three uh, important eggs and out of those three only one of them's got a, any signs of a, uh, life but we're hoping that these two eggs right here on uh, the second shelf are going to go there. But this seems to work good. They can't climb out of them flats. And uh, air circulates good around the flats or trays. I have to put some more water in here. Now let's pull this out real quick. I'll show you how this works back here. The water just sits right in between those. We use some half inch square fencing to uh, protect the heater element from the uh, water tank. And we use uh, two 140 millimeter, two 140 millimeter computer fans to blow across the top here. And you can see we have some holes here and then we have this area right here 
where there's no shelf coming straight through so the air can blow down. Uh, right here in this area, right here, you have an extra two and a half inches right here or so. Uh, where air can blow and then the same thing goes in the back so it helps circulate the air through. Um, There's the bottom shelf, we didn't put nothing on there right this time because we didn't have uh, enough to do that. Enough different hatches. We used um, weather stripping around the outside of the door and we just left the plastic on it. On it, You're supposed to take that off uh, in a lot of applications, but it's kind of like a refrigerator or something where it's going to seal and the rubber is going to end up getting stuck to the painted surface over here, I was afraid. And it would uh, peel the weather stripping off. So by leaving the uh, plastic attached to the weather stripping on the door, it worked out really good. These latches, right here, we got at Lowe's. That was a pretty good deal. Probably not the best latch for this application but uh, you can use tractor pens right here we used a screw right right there you can see that pan head screw we needed to use a screw that wasn't a pan head screw that sit flatter because right here you can see them right there on the latch hit that screw when you pull it and they don't want to shut all the way they work if you put pins in them it would work better or if you just used a regular flat screw then uh, it might not stick out like it does don't want to see you can see they don't close all the way you can see my scarred up hand from reaching inside my incubator and over here you can see how we have two actually plugs one plug for the control module thermostat which also uh, supplies power to the uh, heater element and then uh, we, we used uh, 12 volt DC adapter for or AC adapter for uh, the fans, computer fans, and yeah, that saves a little electricity.